Hi everyone, it's just a beautiful, it's actually, it's rainy, which is kind of beautiful, but I wanted to hop on, I'm doing a face mask right now. That's not why I'm on here. I'm on here because I really want to talk about if you are a woman who has been called pretty much her whole life, she's too much in your relationships with friends, family, and I just tell you, you know, you're too much, you're too much. And then you find yourself making yourself small, not wanting to share how smart you are or intelligent, and you find the need to dumb yourself down to match the level of people that you're surrounding yourself with. And then you find yourself exhausted because guess what? Being not true to yourself is exhausting because you're constantly wearing a mask, not a face mask. That shit's exhausting. It is exhausting to be anything other than what your true nature is. I know this because as a newly single girl, it's been about six months now, I have always dated men who are not on my level. I'll say it. Sweet guys, some of them. You know, they're all nice guys deep down, I guess. But never really could match me on my intellectual emotional, spiritual level. And I always found myself overworking in the relationship to make sure that I never outshined or offended or, you know, I always tried to play the role of like, I'm the chill, cool girl. And let me say this, I know the difference between truly being chill and cool and relaxed when I'm around someone that also is comfortable in their skin and they feel secure in themselves. But when you are around insecure people, that rubs off on you. That will bring out your own insecurities. And yes, you gotta work on your insecurities and you gotta ask yourself, why do you keep dumbing yourself down to match the level of other people? It's really hard to just be be who you are, whoever that is for you, if you're always trying hard to prove that I'm just like you, we're the same. And what if you're not like that person, whether it's in your relationship or with your families or with your friends? You can be too much of anything for anyone. Some would say I am too passionate. I am too ambitious. I am too driven. I like to work. When did that become a bad thing? When did it become a bad thing to have drive, to be excited about life, to feel deeply, to be passionate about things? And I realized that when my passion is channeled towards stuff that I really care about, and not in trying to prove myself to other people, I am more relaxed, I am more myself, I do not need to always be manipulating the situation, trying to say the right thing, be the right type of vasavi to fit your emotional needs. And so if anyone ever tells you that you're too much, I just want you to tell yourself, I am not too much, you're just too little. And the fact is, and it may not sound very spiritual or positive, some people will never match your level because they are on their own path. They are having their own spiritual and growth journey. But the last thing you need to be doing, which is not constructive at all, is to dumb yourself down and match their brokenness. We all have the brokenness inside of us. Some of us may not realize it, some of us do. If you realize it, that's great. But part of the inner work is to realize and to ask yourself, what about me keeps attracting people who do not see me in my full humanity? And what is it about me that makes me feel like I have to dim, lessen, water down parts of myself to match this person? Why do I keep attracting people in my life that 
it just feels like work all the time because I don't know about you, but life is way too short to spend your time with people who will never fully get you. And so it's really important that as a business owner, as a human being, and as a woman, that you find a community of people that you can hang out with, socialize with, mastermind with, connect with, where you don't have to keep putting, your, putting on a front, putting on a, not this kind of mask, putting on a mask, and you can just show up as you. Because the world does not need any more masked individuals. We need more authenticity. We need much more realness. We need people who are comfortable in their skin, who are willing to say what it is, like it is, unfiltered, raw, without having to sugarcoat it and fluff it up because you might offend somebody. Someone's always gonna be offended by you, by you showing up as you. And are you going to allow that to control you? Are you going to stifle yourself? and suffocate yourself in order to match the level of other people. That's completely up to you to be truthful with yourself. I am opening up a 90 day mastermind for women who are sick of telling themselves that they're too much and then end up overworking themselves to compensate for the smallness of other people. And I created this small community, no more than five people, five to 10 people per group that I'm going to be hosting and working with intimately to realize that you are not alone. You are not too much. You just haven't found the right people to surround yourself with. So if you are interested, message me and I will share all the details with you. I've laid this mask on thick. I'm going to go now, but just remember you are not too much. You are not too much of anything. Give yourself permission to just be you.